Joshua Boazzi versus Craig Richards. So what do we think of this one, right? Excellent fight. Excellent. I don't know the level of relationship or friendship that they have, but you could tell the respect was there, right? You could see the respect that they had for each other, not only as opponents, but competitors and just the love of boxing, right? And I really appreciated that and love to see that. Now, let's get to the fight. In the early rounds, Boazzi was targeting the body. He had success when he did that, right? While Boazzi was touching up the body, Richards landed some clean shots to the head. They had a good exchange almost every round in this fight. The long reach in the jab of Richards was finding openings for him to land his one-two combinations, right? He caught Joshua a few times. But in the fourth round, when they were both fighting in the pocket in the middle of the ring, the footwork and the movement that Joshua showed to find the right angle I thought was extremely well done. I didn't hear people talking about his footwork and ring IQ, but I think he made very good adjustments in this fight. In the fifth round, Richards came back and hid behind the jab and let his hands go a bit more to clean up some of the hooks and combinations. In the next round, Boazzi came back slugging. I thought this was a brilliant fight, <laughs> right? You could see some of the rounds you could debate for either fighter, right? But what I thought, what I liked about Boazzi and what he's kind of always done is he would finish his full combination. If it was a four punch combination, he would finish a four punch combinations. If it was three, he would finish a three punch full combinations. And I thought Richard cut parts of his handiwork early. Richards in the eighth round was doing work, right? He tested Boazzi's chin. And here's one of the things, and, and, and you hear the veterans talk about this all the time, right? They say there is art and skill when it comes to tying up your opponent. You have to know when to tie up your opponent to get yourself out of danger. And Boazzi did that. He got himself out of danger when he was in danger, right? Because Craig Richards is not a slouch. He's a good fighter. He's been in there with some of the best in that division, right? He'd been in there with uh, Dimitri Bivol, someone who just beat Canelo not too long ago right? Both fighters came in with the game plan and they both stuck to it and made the adjustments in the ring as the fight went on. I really enjoyed it. It was a brilliant fight. I personally didn't expect the knockout. I expected it to go to the cards with the championship rounds being the rounds that determine who is going to get the edge. Ultimately, I felt Joshua Boazzi landed the more eye-catching shots. He let his hands go a bit more. He was a bit more busy. His body work made a big difference, especially in the early round, as I'm well the judges saw as well. Richards, I hope, finally got the respect that he was maybe looking for, right? I know leading up to the fight, he was saying in interviews that he felt like he has never really gotten the, the respect that the British audience should prop maybe give him, right? He had to do things the harder way. His path was a little bit different than Boazzi, right? Boazzi is coming from an Olympic medalist and he felt like they were pushing him forward and he had to do a lot of other behind the scenes groundwork to get to where he is today, right? He's a true champion, right? I don't always consider a champion a champion is not a champion by just by getting the belt. The champion is how they operate inside the ring, outside the ring, but the mentality that they have. And every time you step into the ring with Craig Richards, you know that you are going to have to work to be him because he's skilled, he's talented, he's not going to lay over for on, on anybody. He's a good fighter. And this was Boazzi's best win to date, right? And I think this is going to pose the next question is we're going to talk about here. So what's next for Joshua Boazzi? I know a lot of people want him to get a title shot. He's earned it. But for me, I'd like to see him get one more big fight against a top contender in that division. Maybe Callum Smith, maybe uh, Gilberto Ramirez, maybe Marcus Brown, right? Vlasov, right? Doesn't matter, right? I think you need to continue to give him these big fights in the big lights, maybe in a different country so he can get some of that uh, so, so, so he can get some booze in a different country so you can see the change of the atmosphere, right? While he has earned a title shot, I don't think he should take a title shot right now, right? I think you give him one more good fight against a top contender and allow him to continue to improve, allow him to clean up some of the, some of the mistakes that he was making and just allow him room to grow, right? Because when you get into a championship fight, you don't want to just say, oh, you know, I was in a championship fight and I fought this guy and I had a chance to win. No, you want to be in a championship fight saying to yourself, I am coming here to be a champion. I'm not coming here to lay down. And you want to make sure that everything that you 
may have seen weaknesses in different fights that you have cleaned up enough, right? It's not enough to go into a title fight to win the title. And then you go into a title defense and you lose your title the next fight. And I don't think Boazzi's team wants to be him to put in that position, especially right now. I don't know. Maybe they will. But for me as a spectator, right, as someone who understands what it's like mentality wise to be in a high pressure situation pressure situation at an elite atmosphere and knowing when the right time to peak is, I would like to see him one more fight. And then after that, then we can judge to see if he can go against uh, Arter Better BF or a Dimitri Bivol or a Joe Smith, whomever has the titles at that time. He's going to get a title shot. It's there. He's got the skills. He's talented. He's got the heart. He's got the will. He's got the faith. He's got the belief. He has all the intangibles to become a champion. But let's not rush to just say we are contending for a championship and not actually being able to say we are a champion and we are going to be here for a very long time.